It's time to talk about tech. Now, AR and VR, that's augmented reality and virtual reality, are having a huge impact on the cars we drive today. From design to servicing to enhancing our experiences behind the wheel in previously unimaginable ways. So let's dive in and take a look at how things like VR simulators and virtual engineering all the way to in-car technology like head-up displays are changing the game. From the first car radio in 1930 to the first digital dashboard in 1974, this is how AR and VR are revolutionizing the car industry and becoming the next big milestone in car development. So let's start with something that we all know. Practice makes perfect, which is why in motorsport, manufacturers, teams and drivers are using simulators to advance their development on track. With a busy racing schedule, teams are relying upon simulator sessions to maximize their chances of winning races. In Formula E, for every hour on track, drivers spend around 100 in the simulator. This technology allows teams to expose their drivers to all possible scenarios of a race, making sure they are prepared for all outcomes. A big advantage of the simulator is that you always have the same conditions. In real life, there is always different temperatures, uh, maybe tires. You don't feel the G-forces in a, in a simulator, but apart from this, all the you know, braking force, steering force, the movement of the car, Everything is, is uh, as close as possible to real life. The development of driving simulators is only advancing, with race teams continuously improving and specking up their simulators to get the edge on their rivals. Another area where we've seen a positive effect on the car industry is within production. Virtual engineering and prototyping has allowed the car industry and the leading manufacturers within it to make huge leaps, meaning cars can be made more quickly, more efficiently, and at a lower cost. With rapid changes in vehicle structures and their growing intricacy, mechanics and engineers often need assistance in their work. BMW has been using virtual training sessions for academy staff with engine assembly sessions. The visualizations guide them through a step-by-step -step process, offering them specific information about each component. Before the levels of AR use that we see today, a trainer would have had to work with one training at a time and supervise their progress. But this new style of workflow is allowing for up to three people to be trained in a single session. How's that for efficiency? But it's not just BMW that are using tech like this. In the US, Porsche engineers are using Tech Live Look, smart glasses that allow the engineers to connect remotely. Another manufacturer benefiting in VR technology is Jaguar. Virtual engineering has become a valuable tool for them in the production development process. They're investing heavily in state-of-the-art virtual engineering tools to enable them to deliver vehicles at the highest specification possible. Jaguar has been able to increase its productivity and digest complex data quicker than it would have been previously possible with traditional design processes. Jaguar invests around £13 million in virtual engineering every year. Software such as computer-aided engineering can be used to virtually model many different areas of a car, including aerodynamics, suspension and crash structure design, powertrain development and durability testing. Their virtual engineering centre located in Gaydon, England is home to a 3D cave, in which eight high-resolution digital projectors create a full-size 3D image from computer-generated models. Wearing 3D glasses, their staff can view and manipulate the images using a control wand, allowing them to optimise exterior designs, interior space and seat positions, visibility and control layouts. It's clear that VR engineering is having a profound effect on the car industry, making manufacturers more efficient from the origins of design all the way to the delivery of the product. VR allows them to drastically reduce the cost in the prototype stage, as well as creating a more immersive, realistic experience. In-car technology has come a long way since the very first digital dashboard was introduced in the Aston Martin Lagonda. Now move along 36 years and head-up displays have been enhancing our experience inside a car. Most head-up displays include valuable information from performance to efficiency to traffic and safety warnings on the go. So where next? Well, this is just a question that everyone wants to know the answer to, and no more so than our motorsport teams themselves. Which is why back in 2018, manufacturers such as Porsche and Hyundai announced that they had become major investors in the Swiss startup company Wayray. The company is involved in developing holographic augmented reality displays for automobiles. Wayray's technology goes beyond any head-up display you'd find in a current production vehicle. 
Wayray has developed a holographic display which creates a real AR experience without the need for any special equipment like glasses. One day, you could even see motorsport teams adapting Wayray's innovations on the track. Implementing Wayray's innovations in a racing environment could also have rapid performance implications, such as displaying live racing lines, guidance on braking zones, as well as creating a ghost car for the drivers to beat. Usually only something you would associate with racing games. So while we wait for this technology to become part of our everyday commute, Mercedes-Benz have already been offering their customers a bite-sized version with their AR navigation system. MBUX Augmented Reality Navigation, as it's known, connects the virtual and real world using the front-facing camera normally reserved for parking maneuvers to run a continuous live feed during your journey. The footage is then combined with navigation instructions and shown on your dash display. In addition, practical graphic information such as traffic lights, house numbers, street names, or points of interest are incorporated into the recording. While it's still in its infancy, it's clearly going to become invaluable for drivers in years to come as manufacturers fight to produce the best in-car tech. Augmented and virtual reality are changing our experience of the world, and it'll continue to have a huge impact on the world of cars across the board from the world's best racing drivers and teams all the way to the everyday driver.